Thank you very much, Steve. a lot more fun when your ship is badass. <laughs> Weird how that works, right? Huh. They should have done a mission much earlier in the game that gives you a super badass ship. I feel like that would encourage people more to want to work towards it. It's significantly more fun than my little baby ship. Right there? Wolf D. We'll take it. Okay. Take the loot and their lives. Take everything, yes! <laughs> that was a lot of trouble for such small plates. Alright! Return to your ship with the recovered ship. Okay, let's go. We're done. We're done. Not gonna risk this biscuit. Okay. Uh, Piglet, I am not entirely sure of all that. I, I know a lot of this has to do with the season one stuff they just put in, which a lot of that is, is oh, free. So. Go home. Ko must be getting more comments about his body than the average pool category streamer. <laughs> well, about my beard, maybe. Yeah, but that's about it. Yeah, can I just have that ship forever, please? If I just never finish this quest, can I just have that ship? I wonder if they put in, uh... <laughs> I wonder if they put in anything to prevent that. I'm sure they did. It said multiple times you had to, like, stay in the quest area, so... But I do just want to keep that ship forever. I need a voice pack that gives me uh, Scotty from Star Trek. I just want to every so often, just from the back of the ship, be like, I'm giving it all she's got, Captain! Just, just add it. Just any time I, I give it, like, full speed and there's, like, not enough wind or something. One day. One day.
All right, we're looking good. Uh, truck full of corn. Is this a sponsored stream? Yes. Yes, it is. Yep. We are revisiting Skull and Bones uh, to check out the Season 1 update, which has just come out. Those hairs looking fresh. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, if you want more information, there is a... Um, there is a thing there. Yep, you can click on it. It just seems like he's lost all his patience for progression in video games. He wants instant gratification in everything he plays now. Oh, that that couldn't be more wrong. Um, the the thing that I think is important, and, and this just goes to show, like, again, just how wildly wrong that is. Um, the thing that I was talking about with wanting the big ship was I think it's important that a game lets you set goals. I think that that the most fun I know I personally have in games is when a game gets me invested to the point that I know there's something long off a few 10, 30, 40 hours away that is enjoyable, that I know I like, and that I want to work towards. So the comment I was making about getting the big ship earlier is that I think it's great when games tease you with what the end game is going to be like so you're like hey this is really fun i want to do this and then i go back to my dinky ship and i'm like dang now i gotta work to get there but hey that was fun and i want to be there so yeah i think i think that quest we just did should have been one of the first quests you did in the game i think that would have been awesome because i think it would have shown a lot of people like oh this is this is not only like kind of enjoyable, this is kind of badass when you have like a full ship with all these guns and you've got mortars and like all that kind of stuff. Like, I think if players were, were put in a position to do that very early, then it could give them a bit more of an impetus to want to continue. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a game design thing. It's not a I'm being impatient thing. <laughs> Oh, an entire company full up in flames. They're saying the fires can be seen all the way from the Red Isle. Got the whole of St. Anne talking about what Skirlock's done. Oh, well, what you've done. That stays between us. You know. Oh, absolutely, Sponge. You need to yep. natural out there in Skirlock's boots. Could see you growing into a pair of your own someday. Skirlock's reputation is safe. And our little French turncoats are satisfied. What a world we live in, eh? It doesn't matter whether you're a pirate or a prefect. You stab someone in the back just for a shot of glory and game. Fine work, anyhow. The boss man's sobered up, and he's already plotting to strike further into the heart of Compagnie territory. I'm sure he'll want to share these plans with you. So head inside when you're ready. Who knows? Skirlock might even share some of the wine this time. Yeah, and uh, just just to, to talk about some of the discussion in chat. Yeah, it's it's very common in games where you start super powerful with lots of abilities and then something happens from a story perspective and you're stripped of all your power and have to work back up. And that's not only a great way to establish that carrot on a stick, that, that like, hey, look what you're going to be able to do later, but it's also a fantastic way to get you through tutorials because then you learn how to play the game with, like, a full set of tools... And then once you've learned how to take advantage of all the tools and everything, it's like, okay, now go get your tools. <laughs> so you kind of have this feeling of where it's like, okay, I know how to play this when I'm beefy. It felt good. Now let's do all the work to get there and like, let's make it happen. You know, so I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, I'm a big fan of when games do that well. Sometimes games try to shoehorn that in and... It doesn't work very well because like it doesn't really make a lot of sense from a story pers perspective why your character would lose all his power or like it doesn't make any sense why a different character has the exact same powers you do at your end game like sometimes it doesn't really work um but sometimes it works great <laughs> sometimes it's it's like it really just lines up and it's awesome so yeah uh i'm ready to meet skirlock yeah, as a game, that's right. It's, 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 it's a combination of game mechanic and good immersive storytelling or world design. Oh, a sloop. We got a new boat. Oh, my. 
Okay, let's do it. Uh oh. Karadek threatens my life. And now makes sport of my ships. He prowls about in that warship, Le Spectre. Cargo meant for Tulin pulls into Karadek's hands. He taunts me like I'm a caged animal and I've got the urge to bite. <sighs> Our foe draws near. But the demands of the pirate round must be met. If Chulin removes his backing, the port will crumble. Mm. Stop it out of his sight. You've grown sharper, Cully. Steer your thoughts from direct conflict. Yeah, buddy. To best Karadek. We must make our approach from the shadows. The coast of Africa bears fruits yet unplucked. Bring them to me, and I'll see Tulin plied. This port will stand. My lesser captains, I'll keep them here in the Red Isles. You will head off to the coast of Africa, while I feed them to Karadek. Watch out for the spectrum. Dude, he's got a disappearing Get ship. Get goods, Cully. So my captain's deaths. I serve a purpose. Okay, so I think this main quest is a little Fair outside of our purview. And a full hold to it. Take a look. Uh, no, no DF today. In about 15 minutes, I'm going to take a very brief break. Um, run upstairs, make sure my kids are good, make some coffee, that kind of thing. Should be more than like 20 minutes, and then I'll jump back on for some Final Fantasy. Uh, so what quest is this? Yeah, this is a four. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Can we actually make the sloop? Do we want to make the sloop? Now that you're making a name for yourself, are you interested in buying ship designs, Captain? Wow. Uh, oh. That needs a lot of stuff we don't have. Can I pin this? Can I buy that stuff here anywhere? Did I lose a bet? I did. Skurlocks kick the ornate's nest. French ships are cruising all over the coast. How's he gonna wriggle out this one? I lost a bet with uh, with chat. And the bet with chat was that they would not raise the amount of money they did for charity. But dang it, chat. You done did it. Uh, it only goes on the front. Wait, what? Oh, this is comparing. Okay. That's what we need. Let's go get it. <clears throat> Demi cannons are bait. Oh god. Really? Why this? Hmm. I wonder what African treasures Skurlock and Tim are lasting out there. Oh. I already have two flooding demi cannons. Do that. Have some way to Okay, cool. That works. Uh, Sir Beard, what are you talking about, bud? Mm. 
The coast of Africa is known for its exotic goods, which are said to be the envy of New York. Skurlock must be desperate to impress Dueling with such rare finds. But the Ungwana will not hand over the ivory without a fight. We should be prepared, Captain. We're gonna go north around this island, and then we're gonna head over there and get the items we need to start working on this next tier of ship. Hey, Illumination, how are you today, bud? What bet did you lose? I haven't seen you without a beard for like 10 years. Uh, charity. Check out the charity command. Yep. <clears throat> that guy right there. Oh, wow, I'm totally out of these. Oh, I think they're still on. Did I have a corpse down here? I thought I had a corpse somewhere, do I not? Did the corpses disappear? Woman has a singing voice, doesn't she? Hey, <laughs> loot this stuff. What the heck is this stuff? I can't loot it. Oh, come on! It's like piles of ships. Are those corpses of other players? I have to shoot it. Dark with the 81 months. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate your 81, dude. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Piglet, have a great time with it, buddy. Team BBD with the 70 months. How you been, brother? Good to see you, man. Red Dragon Rob. Oh, Barry fixed it. Yeah, all the Kovatars should be like uh, oh, totally good to go at this point. Yep. Yep, not only are the uh, the cosmetic packs, they should be all out and updated, but uh, Barry fixed the caching issue and just boom, boom, boom. Things are trucking along. Yep. Uh, Ikaru, you, you leave your ship when you dock at some of the locations. And I think that's it from what I've seen. You don't you don't leave your ship when you're boarding or doing any of that stuff. Yeah, this this game is basically not it's it's uh it's this game um, um, originally got a lot of comparisons to Sea of Thieves, but honestly, it plays nothing like it. A good way to think of this game is 
you play the ship in this game where you play a pirate in Sea of Thieves. This is this is a pirate ship game where Sea of Thieves is a pirate game. So that is, you know, it's, it's, it, uh, it may sound like it's not a big difference, but it's a massive difference in terms of the loot. Yeah. Oh, right on, team. Yeah, we just had a huge charity stream a few days ago. It was it was crazy. And now here I am with a shaved face. And next week, I have to bleach my hair. So that'll be a thing. And then I have to grow the beard back. So, yeah, we, we got all sorts of things. I wonder if there's any penalty in going, like, way out into the open sea. It doesn't seem like it. What? I think that was PvP, which I've never seen before, but unfortunately I'm nowhere near it and I'm going in the wrong the opposite direction, so I don't think don't think this is the best time to do that. Mm -mm. What is this big gray border? Oh, it's just like the region border. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, illumination! Thank you, buddy. Thank you very much. I'm I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. It's I, I used to bleach my hair when I was you know, eighteen. <laughs> so this will be the first time I've bleached my hair in probably twenty years. Ish. Um. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's kind of funny because when I was a, when I was young, when I was a kid, I would just go to the store and get these packages of this blue powder. I think it was like hydrogen peroxide and I don't know, some crazy like bleach kit. And I would mix it up and I'd put it, I'd do all my own bleaching and uh, it would always end up like, you know, more bleached in one area and not as much in the other. And I was going to do that exact same thing for the charity reward. I was, I, and I walk upstairs like, yeah, I got to bleach my hair. And my wife is like, oh, make, you know, you got to make an appointment. And I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just go ahead and, and, you know, just get one of those packs like I did back in the day. And she just looks at me and she goes, honey, you realized you always looked ridiculous when you did it yourself, right? And I went, Men. okay, I'll get it done professionally. Um, okay. Well. That's fair. That's fair. <sighs> All right. Wrecked by the wife. Dude, I got wrecked by my wife about that. And then funny enough, later in the day, I was, and I tweeted about this. I was playing uh, Minecraft with my four-year-old son, my four-year-old son. And he wants to build a volcano. So I'm like, cool, hey, you know, I'll, we're in creative mode. I was like, I'll get the dirt. And I start to I start to put the dirt down, and my son literally looks at me, and he goes, "Dad, don't be a noob." And I went, "Nanny." And he goes, "Dad, only noobs build volcanoes with dirt. You use coal." And then I died. I, just, I died. Right? I just died. That was it. I, I was. That was. That was. We're done. I, I just. Yep. Mm. That was done. That was it. You died in creative? No, IRL. Yeah, my son slayed me at that moment. I, I was dead. Yes. We have what we need. I don't know. Bro's got a flamethrower. Lime, that's what we need. We need the lime.
Bro, that flamethrower is awesome! What is it? Oh, Guys, it's been a lot of fun. Shout out and thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring the last two hours of the stream. We really do appreciate it. This has been Skull and Bones, now entering its very first season with the uh, the Plague Captain. If you're interested in checking that out, you can right now. There's a link in the Skull and Bones command and pinned to the top of the channel. Just click that link. It'll get you a lot of great information and help support the channel. Thank you again very much to all of you for, sponsor, uh, for hanging out during the sponsored stream. And what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to take a quick break. Should be like less than half an hour. Um, we are going to raid someone. There's uh, a buddy of the channel is uh, is doing a big charity stream. So we're going to raid over there and uh, and see how he's doing. And if you do have any money you'd like to throw towards charity, well, he's he's doing it for a great cause. So, yep, i um, going to be heading out now. I will see you in a little bit. Thanks for being here. Back soon. Bye-bye.